It's a 20 minute sequence to help us feel stretched in our whole body, whether it's first thing in the morning or when we need that second wind in the afternoon. Now don't forget, with aerial yoga, it's unlike any other practice. You're trying to figure out where you need to be in your hammock and watch the screen at the same time. The first time you see a sequence, whether it's with me or anybody else, it might take you a time or two to figure out where you need to be and how to move safely in your fabric. Always move at your own pace, but once you've seen it once and you've experienced it, then you can start to move with a little more confidence. I'm hoping you enjoy this one. Set your hammock to the height of your hip flexors, and let's begin. Meet me standing right in front of your fabric. Inhale the arms up and let them settle at heart center. Thumb knuckles resting on sternum. Stand nice and tall. How are you feeling today in your mind? Let's use our hammock to create a little more space in our body. Maybe a little more play in our life. Arms will reach up, reaching behind until you catch the inside of the fabric and just begin to hinge forward. Actively press down with your hands and try a little pedal through the legs, keeping one straight as the other bends. Maybe looking side to side as you do this, seeing what feels good. Try bending the left and looking to the right. Try to straighten those arms a bit as you push downwards. And then swapping, look to the left as you bend the right. Rolling up, fabric comes in front of you. You should be in a wrist wrap. Soft bend to the knees and extend forward. And try to roll through the spine here. Just like you would almost do a cat-cow, undulating from the tailbone all the way to the crown of the head. Next time that you extend forward, give a pause. Holding onto the fabric with just the right hand so that you can release the left. Actively push the right hand away. Peek to the left, you'll feel this in your trap and your whole side body. Letting the body weight sink, bend the right elbow, just hang here. Extending the arm to roll yourself up and out. Release completely and back into your wrist wrap. Hands come through the center and undulate through that spine. Roll your way up and extend forward. Reach along, try to lengthen through the tailbone towards the ceiling. Holding onto that fabric, gather it in just your left hand, right hand can drop. Peak right, push long through the left, right? Left arm as straight as you can get it. And then begin to let the elbow bend. Just let your body weight hang. Press away and roll your way up. Releasing your grip and fabric comes up and over. Catch your shoulder blades. Soft bend to the knees. Long extended position. Fingers and toes in opposite direction, navel drawn in. Breathe in. On the exhale, bend the knees. Arms come to a T. Extend forward. Couple rounds, moving on your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Floating through. One more. Draw the navel in, hold here. Bend the knees and find your way right underneath your plumb line. 
Now if this is a bit much for your armpits, take your hands, cross them behind the fabric, and you can push the elbows in. That's going to take a little tension out of the armpits. Try to really relax here, letting the pelvis hang. Left leg crosses over right knee, coming into a little pigeon variation. I like to let the hip drop and pivot a little bit. Exhale, draw the navel in. Bring your hands in front and we're going to make a transition. Foot comes all the way across and I want you to try to sink your side body. Try some small rotations. Drawing the navel back. And just try to let the pelvis sink to get a little bit deeper into that low back inside. Swivel back to center and we can give those armpits a break. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, float through. Navel draws in. Sinking back, find that plumb line again. Use those elbows on the back, right? So I'm pushing my elbows into the fabric. That's taking a little bit of pressure out of the armpits, but that will get better, I promise. Little shifts here, if that feels good. Try to drop the weight into the pelvis. Coming into rotation, come across. Right foot finds the floor and really let your body weight sink here. Use your hands on the fabric if it's a bit pinchy. This is one I should probably do every day. And roll back to center, walking yourself up and out. Bring that fabric in front. Take the wrist wrap, hands can interlace. Staggered stance, right foot goes back, left foot comes forward, stretch long, tailbone reaches towards the ceiling as you come into your stretch. Curl the tailbone under, roll your way up. I want you to see yourself as if you could almost see the movement between each vertebrae, even though that's not actually possible. I just want you to take the time to feel. Extend forward. Tailbone lifts. Active pressure down into your fabric. Seeing if we could take this into balance. Shift your weight into that front foot. Float your back foot. Maybe begin to engage through that backside, floating the leg up into an airplane. Balance teaches us focus and to stay humble. Breathe in. And on the exhale, go ahead and bend and release. Roll your way up. You can shake those hands out. Maybe roll the wrists. You're right underneath your plumb line. Hands come up and through. Wrist wrap. Left leg back, right foot forward. Extend long through the tailbone. Roll your way up. Extend and reach. And up. Hold here. Really focus on that length that you're probably feeling through your right hamstring. Getting ready for flight, weight shifts to the right, float the left, you can stay low or engage through that backside, try to get a little more length here. Breathe in and use the exhale to release down. Roll your way up. Fabric comes up and over. Let's find those shoulder blades once again. Sink into the knees and walk yourself back. This time hands are behind the head, feet walk wide. And begin a little side to side hinge. As the knee bends, I want you to then work the side body and let the elbow to be the last to arrive. Nice and slow, knee, Side body, elbow. Ah, 
I could do this all day. Hinge to the left. The left hand is going to continue to support the head. Reach your right fingertips long, fingertips to toes. Hinging side to side. And over to the right. Neck is totally supported, hand is holding with that right and left extends. Finding your way back to center. Heel toe those feet underneath you and roll your way up. Come up and over. And onto those tippy toes, we're going to take it into that downward facing dog. Find the hip crease first. Take a few steps forward, catching the fabric in those hip flexors, and fold in half. Give a little shake of the head, yes or no, pushing through the heels. And feel length from the fingertips all the way down through the heels. Squeeze and engage your thighs. And if it feels okay in your body and you're there, you can tolerate it. You could take this into a pure hang. I'm just gonna let all my body weight sink right into the fabric. This does actually get um, tolerable if it's not. You can hold in downward dog. Bring those hands to the floor right underneath you and you could push the ground away. I want you to extend the legs and just widen them a bit. So we're coming into a little straddle position. I'm gonna walk my hands back. Draw the navel in and just focus on getting a little longer through the side body. Pull the rib cage in. And soften back into either downward dog or into that little nugget pose, crossing the ankles, crossing the arms. Letting everything go. Hands to the mat, begin to walk forward onto those tippy toes and I want you to catch those hip flexors. On an inhale, lengthen up, use the strength of your back here. Exhale, soften. Twice more, inhale up. Squeeze and extend through the chest, exhale. Last time, as you roll up, you can look for the fabric. Hands are gonna come to the inside, thumbs are on the outside. Now if space is limited or you just wanna to continue to hold this back bend, stay here, squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you wanna to try to take flight, you'll release the feet. Long through the back of the neck. Feet to the floor, as you swing forward, come all the way up and out. <sighs> Take a breath, maybe adjust your pants if you're losing them, <laughs> like me. Stand right in front of your fabric, we're gonna take a little swing and catch the right knee. Hold on with just your right hand, lift the heel and come in into a forward lunge. Try to keep your hips square to the front and then as you feel balanced, left arm is going to reach up and back. The hand can also come to the back of your head so the weight of my head is just gently pushing into the hand, which is taking me a little bit deeper into that left hip flexor. Breathe in. And on the exhale, gently begin to pull yourself back. Work that hamstring. Flex the foot, hips are nice and square, and extend the heart forward. Give it one more breath. And roll your way up. Climb your way into your fabric. It's gonna come right behind the crease of your knee. Left is gonna join the right. Taking that little seat, I like that little break. Step forward, and let's take it onto that second side. 
creating that little swing. Catch the back of that left knee. Nice and tall, I'm gonna hold that fabric in just the left hand once I set up. Coming into that forward lunge, provided you feel balanced, come back with the right, try to press the pelvis forward. Option to place that hand on the back of the head to further open you up. Hips are square to the front. One more breath. Coming up and kick through, right onto that ankle. It's a flexed foot. Draw the hip back and extend the heart forward. Close your eyes, just check in, how are you doing? Sometimes just a little bit of time in the fabric and on the mat can change your whole outlook. I know it does for me, even on a bad day. One more breath. And release, let's take that same swing. Left knee kicks through, right knee joins in. Stepping forward. And we're gonna take this into a different style of inversion. It's very similar to a back straddle, but it's actually called, funny enough, a diaper wrap. So if you've never seen this before, I just want you to billow out your fabric and you're gonna find the two curly edges. Bring those edges together. And I typically go for the folded edge versus the loose edge. And I want you to grab a whole bunch of fabric in your hands, probably more than you think you need. We'll want that fabric to come all the way up the thighs as you climb into a seat. Think of your back straddle inversion. I'm gonna to begin to hinge back. The loose end of the fabric should be right on the sacrum. I'm gonna hinge back. So it's going to feel very similar, but it does feel different. I'm going to cross in front. We've been here before, right? Backs of the hands to the floor if you're rocking. Shake the head yes or no. I just feel, um, I don't want to say safer is the word, but I definitely have a different sensation in this versus a traditional back straddle inversion. You can decide what you like better. Probably a good one to do if you're just getting started and a little insecure with this little upside down position. Playing with the arms, you could interlace the arms or try to cross them behind you, opening the chest. Make sure there's no tension in your neck. Cleansing breath out. Remembering for your exit, it's always slow. I'm gonna reach up with just my hands first. Find the fabric just above my thighs. There's a little ab crunch involved there. Releasing the legs, come up maybe halfway, take a moment to pause. And then as you come to a seat, let the elbows catch the fabric and lean your body weight forward. Come up to a seat. Inhale the arms overhead. And exhale, bring them into heart center, closing the eyes. I want you to check back in. Has anything changed since we first started not too long ago? And I am humbled and honored to be here with you. Namaste. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you are new here, welcome. Consider subscribing or giving this video a like. 
On the channel, we have two playlists for the hammock, one for tutorials and one for classes just like this. So make sure you check all of them out. And of course, if there's something specific you wanna work on together, let me know in the comments. Hopefully I'll see you again soon and namaste.